Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I am your host Wally and today we are taking a relaxing trip along the springs of San Marcos at the San Marcos Aquatic Center, formerly known as Aquarina Springs. I miss Aquarina Springs. Gone are the days of mermaids and Ralph the diving pig. But we still have some things to look at. They changed their outlook and have decided to become a more environmentally friendly place. And it, it's working, it's working. I love the spring here, it's crystal clear. And I love getting on the glass bottom boats to look at all the life down below. All this seaweed, is it still called seaweed? All the plant life and fishies and turtles roaming around. These springs are wonderful. They're cold, and once you look down, you can see just about all the way to the bottom, crystal clear. You see the little fishies swimming around. You see turtles passing by, insects, you name it. I saw a pike, I think it's called a pike. It just sort of darted through and it was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. It makes me want to be a mat manatee and just jump in there and start munching on all that sea lettuce or spring lettuce. But the glass bottom boats are the center of the place. If you go there, that's what people go for. I want to get on a glass bottom boat and see all the nature that is down there. They give you a good educational talk while you're there. They tell you a lot about the springs and about the history and how it's been inhabited for billions of years. I'm exaggerating. It's a pretty neat little lesson to learn about how some place in the middle of Texas has been important through time. I am mesmerized by what's going on down there. I do not want to miss a single thing. And the, probably the coolest thing they showed us was the spring bubbling up through the rocks. Those little things, that's water being pumped through, pumping up. It's amazing to look at. So definitely if we're in the San Marcos area, this is a must do. You have to make reservations sometimes well in advance because they do fill up pretty quick. It's not just show up and get on. So make sure you do your reservations so you can see some of the awesome, awesome sights of Aquarina Springs. I'm still gonna call it Aquarina Springs, I think. But the spring itself is beautiful on top or below. It's great to look at all of the wildlife, all the nature that this world has to offer. I just feel like just throwing myself in the water and swimming, being one of those mermaids from long ago. I like looking at the boats passing by. They're pretty well maintained and pretty comfortable. They also have a little wetland that you can walk through. It's a little boardwalk that shows a little, I guess it's an estuary like type of place. It's not too deep, but you can see some of the animals. You can, such as this heron right here. You see shorebirds and herons and turtles. I saw a huge fish, but I didn't know what exactly it was. It swam away too quick. But the vegetation is awesome. It's peaceful, it's comfortable. Bring sunscreen, because they're out in the middle of the sun. It's a nice addition to the place. You think it's just like the boat, but now you can actually take a little hike through nature and experience what life was like back before humanity started building cities and everything and boardwalks. Grasses, grasses. I love grasses. It's one of my favorite things on earth. And some more roaming around the boardwalks. You can see a lot of different animals. 
throughout the year depending on what time you're there because animals like to migrate also apparently we're in a spot in Texas with the heaviest concentration of turtles so you should see plenty of turtles while you are there I myself like red eared sliders because I have one of them it's cute his name is Tortas or Mud Pie I'm not sure which one but part of the center includes the building that you can go into there's some hands-on stuff that kids can have fun with learning about aquifers and springs and nature it's pretty educational it's got a cool little turtle and some of the salamanders should be in there hiding and then there's this cute little blind salamander. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. He's super cute. I was trying to take a selfie with him, but it's kind of difficult. He's at an odd angle. But still, these are the things you can see if you visit Aquarina Springs in San Marcos, Texas. So make sure to go. Have fun. Bye bye.